Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and happy birthday if today's your birthday. And welcome to a day that I have been dreading but I am excited enough to share with you guys and that is my spring closet clean out. Oh, this is always such a task and I just, I don't like doing it, it is no fun but it has to be done. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I typically decide that it's time for a closet clean out about twice a year because I run out of hangers. And I'm like, Jill, you have so many hangers. You should not be running out of hangers. So clearly you have stuff in your closet that you're not wearing enough and that you don't need. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to clean out the whole thing. Honestly, I'm gonna try. By the way, you can see Molly right here. Come here, come here. Just say hi to the people. Hello, good girl. I'm gonna try to be really critical and really hard on myself about what to keep and what not to keep because I have a lot of stuff in there that I do not wear and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how much I really stick with that, but that's sort of the plan. Another change that I've decided on from the last closet clean out, and I feel like this decreased so much uh, throughout the years, but I don't think that I'm going to sell anything that I'm getting rid of on Poshmark. Instead, I'm going to bring it to out of the closet no, that is not where I'm bringing it. Buffalo Exchange, <laughs> out of the closet, it's a different thrift store in LA. Um, I'm gonna bring it to Buffalo Exchange and just sell it to them. They basically buy things for like 25% of whatever they'll sell it for, so it won't be a huge profit, but it just saves me so much time and energy, and honestly, I just, I, I don't feel like I want to spend time doing Poshmark, so we're just not going to. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into this clean out. I wanna start by just sort of showing you where we're at right now. So we got a lot of stuff in here. This, um, you can't really tell how organized or disorganized it is, but definitely these shelves, you can tell, need a lot of work. I'm gonna be reorganizing the way that I'm storing things in here. So that all is going to get changed. Obviously, this is just like, Disaster, what is going on here? And then over on this other side, again, it's not too bad in this area, although there is a lot of stuff that I want to get rid of, but my shoes, oh my gosh, I have way too many shoes, look at this. They're all just shoved in there, so we're gonna have to make some hard decisions on the shoe front here because ugh, I just love shoes so much, it's so hard for me. So with this goal of trying to get rid of as much stuff as humanly possible, I have come up with a couple criteria to just rely on and think back on when I'm struggling about whether I wanna get rid of something or not. So first up, is it something that I am drawn to often? Is it something that I think about wearing often? Is it something that I actually wear often? That last one is probably most key. Now this can't be everything because I know myself, there's like a few pieces that I reach for all the time, but mostly it's like stuff that I like to interchange and it really depends on where I'm going and what I'm up to. But I definitely do want to think about that when making decisions. Number two, does it express what I am trying to express? I just sort of decided this year that I wanted to dress however I wanted to dress and I really wasn't going to consider necessarily the occasion or, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly how to describe this, but I had just decided that this was gonna be my year where I would wear whatever I wanted to wear and not think about like what other people have to say about it. I don't care if I'm overdressed, I don't care if I'm underdressed, I'm just wearing what I want to wear. So definitely wanna keep that one in mind. And number three, does it actually fit? Because I definitely have a ton of stuff in my closet that just doesn't fit anymore or that never fit right, but I just thought like, oh, maybe someday I'll find a use for it. No, it's gotta go. So those are sort of the three main things that I'm going to be keeping in mind. <sighs> this is daunting. Okay, okay. I mean, let's just start off on an easy note. By far my most worn shirt of all time. I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute, it's so flattering, it goes with everything. I need to get it in like 25 other colors. I'm gonna have it linked down below just because I love it so much. I feel like I remember that it's slightly expensive for what it is, like $90 or something, but I have worn this 5,000 times and I will wear it 5,000 more, so I feel like it's worth at least buying it and trying it on. So that's my testimonial for this first tank top and it stays shocking. <laughs> Actually, honestly, probably most of these white shirts are gonna stay for me because I wear white shirts like all the time. This, it's going. I have been looking at that shirt in my closet for so long and being like, what are you doing here, you don't belong. I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. It's okay, but I don't love it. This shirt has honestly been a staple in my closet for so long, I have it in black as well. Just a little bandeau. I honestly don't wear it that often, but something about it 
just I, I I just have to keep it. I don't know what's wrong with me. It just feels like such a good basic to have just in case. And as soon as I get rid of it, I know I'm gonna need it. Okay, this is gonna go. That was only like okay. I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. This I've only worn once, but I do like it. It just gets so wrinkled. I think it's gonna go. You know what? We said we were going to make hard decisions. This is one of them. This favorite Amazon tank top ever, keeping it. Garf shirts. Ooh, look, I found a rogue hanger. I guess it wasn't out of hangers after all. Cancel the video. We don't need to do this anymore. I am conflicted on this. You know what? We're gonna keep the two scarf tops that I have in here for summer. We're gonna see if we reach them, and if not, this I'm pretty conflicted about because it's like a comfortable shirt to wear around the house, but not something that I'm gonna wear out really ever. So, you know what? We're starting a maybe pile. I can't make a decision on this right now. It's a maybe. We have this cute little pink bandana-ish top. Oh, why do I do this? Ugh, okay, maybe, it's a maybe. I really like this tank top, but I have this tank top. It's almost like, it is like identical colors and I like the cut of this better and it's also like has sort of like a waffle waffle what do we call it waffle texture on it anyway so wait so does this one they're both waffle <laughs> anyway i like this waffle better than this waffle and i like the fit of this one better and they're basically the exact same shirt so we're gonna get rid of this again another amazing tank top that i feel like is slightly overpriced but i've worn so much that i don't really mind I wear this sometimes, but every time I wear it, I don't like it as much as I feel like I should. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. My mom's calling me, so I'm gonna take the call and I'll check in with you guys in a second. I feel like we made some solid progress there, you guys. Like I got rid of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Let's see, this is everything that I got rid of. Plus a few stray hangers that I found. I think three of these were just like empty in my closet. Ow. Oh, oh, God, my toe. <laughs> Injuring myself. I'm like at the end of my nails where they're starting to come off and they just like hurt a little. Let's see. 21 things just off this one top section. I feel like that's pretty good. By the way, this is Connor's new office chair. Isn't it nice? We're using it today to hold all the stuff that we're getting rid of. <laughs> Okay, I love it. This is good. This is progress. Let's just, I don't know, let's just continue on, shall we? Down here we have jackets slash like shirts that I wear as jackets, like, you know, button-ups, and then pants. So I feel like we can get rid of a fair amount of stuff in here, but uh, not that much, but we'll see. <laughs> Keep that. This, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I don't think I've reached for it in a really long time, so we're gonna say goodbye. This, I love, never getting rid of that. This, I love, but it just hasn't come to fruition. I just haven't been able to like style it the way that I really want to. It's just not flattering on me and things that I'm wearing very often. But I do sort of want to keep it because I like it. Mm -hmm. ah. F it, we're keeping it for now. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't, but we are. Okay, this I like, but haven't worn it in quite a while. But maybe fun for like summery things. We're going to keep it. See? I'm already getting off track here. This love keep denim jacket. I never ever wear this, but I feel like it's just a staple to have in your closet. So we're gonna keep it. This we can get rid of. Love this, wore it forever for years, but I really don't reach for cardigans like this anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This love we keep, blazer we keep. I wasn't like obsessed with it, so I think I might get rid of it. This I think we're gonna get rid of, and this I'm also thinking can go. Okay, that's it for jackets, so very easy. Pants, pantaloons, what they're saying. I don't gravitate towards them very often, so goodbye. Love these. You know what, I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna make an effort to wear these more. So we're keeping that, but we'll get rid of these. Goodbye. These trousers, I don't wear that often anymore, but they are my all-time favorite pair of trousers, so I am going to keep them. I low-key feel like those might be one of those pieces that I keep forever just in case my future daughter ever wants to wear them. So I want to be that mom who keeps like cool retro clothes for my daughter. These pants, obsessed with them. They're so cute. Green pants, we're keeping them. Pink, 100% keeping, obsessed. These trousers just don't reach for them. Don't love the color as much anymore. These pants just never fit me the way that I wanted them to. I should have returned them. And these green trousers just 
Again, story to them. Don't need them. This is too, oh my God, I forgot about these leather pants. See, it's because I had to double them up on here and so I lost them because I was running out of hangers. Not good, okay. I do sort of want a different pair of black leather pants, but again, I'm just gonna keep these for now until I replace them. And then these are obviously a totally different vibe, but I really wanna wear these. Midi skirts. Um, I kept these three the last time they did my closet clean out just in case. I ever needed a midi skirt and um, shocking, I never needed one. So goodbye midi skirt. Do we keep one? I don't know. I do really like this one, but I never wear it. But maybe we'll keep it. It's sort of nice for like, if there's a dressy occasion, I can have one midi skirt. And another section down, look at this. Our pile is growing. Yeah. Last rack in my closet here and then we have to go through all the shelves as well. But this here is dresses. So this part gets a little tricky for me sometimes because I don't wear dresses that often, but I like to have dresses for when I need them. So you see what my dilemma is. Okay, love it. So I think next I'm gonna work on these shelves here, which is gonna be interesting. We're not gonna work on reorganizing yet because we are gonna reorganize quite a few things in here, but just deciding what we wanna keep and what we don't. Cause there's a lot of denim in here and I have a lot of trouble getting rid of denim as I feel like a lot of people do. Ugh, I haven't even gotten into the shoes yet. So <sighs> let's give it a go. Let's get into these two shelves because sweaters and sweatshirts are two sections that I really struggle with. Honestly, in particular sweatshirts because I love sweatshirts, I love having a lot of them and a lot of them honestly sort of have almost sentimental value to them in some way. So I've struggled to get rid of them, but we're gonna do our best here. This I still wear all the time, so I am gonna keep it even though like I'm not obsessed with it. I still do like, get cozy in it pretty often. This I'm also gonna keep, I really like this sweater. Same with this sweater, love it, keeping it. This one though, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I've had this one for years and I just, I don't really feel like I want it anymore. This sweater I think I'm gonna keep. This did not, it didn't, wasn't giving me the vision that I wanted, so it's gonna go. This I like, I've had it for years, but I think it can go. This was not giving me what I wanted, it can go. Definitely keeping this. And I think I'm gonna keep these two sweaters as well. I like them, I think they're cute, so match my style. And this is literally just something that I've been keeping for a friend who forgot it here, so that's just gonna stay there still. Sweatshirts, my merch, I love this. I still wear it all the time, we're keeping it. New Disney sweatshirt, obsessed, keeping it. Toronto sweatshirt, obsessed, keeping it. Fruit Farm sweatshirt, obsessed, I'm keeping it. Oh, this one, it's so good, I'm keeping it. All right, what are some of these? I feel like maybe some of this. Oh, this is Tara, so it needs to be returned to her. This, I don't even, think is that comfy, but it is just such a moment in time. The fact that this sweatshirt says home, isolation tour 2020, like I need to keep this. I need to keep it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> we haven't got rid of one thing yet, you guys. It's really bad. Oh my God, I'm literally not gonna get rid of one of these things. You know what, this is my Hufflepuff sweatshirt, but I don't really love it. So like maybe I'll get rid of this and get a new one the next time that I go to Harry Potter world. I think that's a good plan. And like, I'm definitely gonna be gravitating towards that other Disneyland sweater way more than this one now, but I feel like this is just like cute classic. So I'm keeping it. I'm keeping all of these. Oh my God, it's so bad. go ahead and tackle this shoe situation. But oh my gosh, this is gonna be so hard because I love shoes so much. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> These are like my new go-to black booty. Absolutely obsessed with them. We are keeping them. Doc Martens will never, ever, ever get rid of my docs. Even my white ones, which I barely ever wear, but they are so iconic, so classic that I just know that they will always come back in style. I These have come in and out of style multiple times since I've owned them. So it's just one of those shoes that I'm just not gonna get rid of because I know that I'll end up repurchasing them or again, like handing them down. So love them, keeping them. Most comfortable, 
like mules that I own, 100% keeping them. These I think I'm gonna get rid of. I just think that they're super similar to these and I like these better. So first pair of shoes out the door. Obsessed with these, definitely keeping them. These I really like, they're very niche, but I think I'm gonna keep them. Cowboy boots, sort of niche, still like so dirty from Coachella. Not the kind of thing that I'll wear all the time, it's not really my style, but these are comfortable and I thrifted them for like $20, so we're keeping them. And I'm keeping these too, so the keeping continues. These though, I'm gonna get rid of, these are like, I've worn the shit out of these booties for years and years, but I, I just don't need them anymore and they're not in very good shape, so they're gonna go. Thank you booties, we love you. These I'm sort of conflicted about because I love them, but they're so uncomfortable that I legitimately don't know if I will ever wear them again. But I'm gonna put them in keep for now because they're really cute, but they're so uncomfortable. These really cute. I think I'm gonna find somewhere to wear them, so I'm gonna keep them. This is sort of part of what I was talking about with the criteria of like wearing what I want when I want, not really giving an F. That sort of has incorporated heels into more of an everyday item for me, so I'm sort of inclined to keep more heels as I'm like transitioning into this like phase of maybe wearing heels more often. You guys know how I feel about these heels. I'm keeping them. This I definitely want to keep, but why is there only one of them in here? These I sort of have kept because I don't have any other white boots, but they're pretty beat up at this point, so I think I'm gonna get rid of them. These heels we are keeping. They're my only pair of strappy black heels, so maybe I'll keep them. <laughs> I've got a shoe problem, you guys. And now this, which I think there actually is gonna be a fair amount of stuff that we get rid of from in here. These I think I'm gonna keep. I wear them an okay amount, I think enough. These definitely gonna keep. I'm not really into either of them. These I am keeping, but they really need to be run through the washer because they got beer spilled all over them. I'm obsessed with the look of these sandals, but they are so uncomfortable and absolutely murdered my feet, so goodbye. <laughs> these green shoes I still really like, so I'm gonna keep them, but these orange ones I think are gonna go. Sneakers, absolutely love these, keep. I think it's finally time that I get rid of these sneakers. They're pretty beat up now. The Velcro like doesn't work as well. <laughs> I think it's time for them to go. Slightly conflicted about these. They're sort of good for summertime. I think I'm gonna keep them. And then I think I'm gonna keep these shoes as well. Hopefully as like my shitty pair of white sneakers for when like I don't really care what happens to them. I got rid of an okay amount of shoes, like at least six pairs. So that's all right. I have no justification for my actions, but. I am who I am. Time to try on our babies. So this dress, I basically bought this dress originally for Coachella, tried it on, absolutely loved it. I had it styled with my cowboy hoots, hoops, <laughs> cowboy boots, and I sort of thought that it would be a good Sunday outfit at Coachella where it's just like a little bit more chill and you're like not going as hard. Didn't end up wearing it to Coachella, not for any reason in particular, but I just didn't. And then I tried this one again last weekend. I thought like, oh, I'll wear it out and hated it. But now I'm sort of liking it again. This is from Nasty Gal. Let me look in the mirror again. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm liking it again. So I think that I'm gonna keep this with the contingency that I have to wear it in the next month. Also so hard to get on and off because it's like tight and like really does not have much pull. Actually, usually I have Connor help me get out of this and he is not here. So hopefully I can get out of this on my own. We got it off. <laughs> so this is sort of hard for me because I just, I don't know exactly when I'll wear it, but I feel like it could be cute on vacation maybe. I think I'm gonna bring this on a vacation that I'm going on very soon to Hawaii. I think it would be, a really cute, just like casual dress when we go out at night. So, so far, all the maybes are cute. <laughs> this again is cute, but I feel pretty comfortable getting rid of it, you know? I like it, but I just don't need it, I don't think so. I think this one can go. So this is sort of the outfit that I had in mind when this shirt turned into a maybe. So I want to try it on together and I like it. So. We're keeping it. We're keeping the shirt. <laughs> it's cute, it's comfortable, it's easy to throw on. I can throw this on with like a pair of shorts, a pair of like white jeans, or like something cute like this. Again, could totally see myself wearing this in Hawaii, so it's coming with me. And last up is this purple shirt. Probably wouldn't wear it with these pants, but you know, it's just getting changed quickly. Here's what I'm thinking with this. I'm not gonna keep it in my closet. I'm gonna move it into my dresser drawers, which is where I keep all my comfy clothes. I think I'll get more wear out of it there, and I do think that this is more of a like lounge around the house, I'm doing a cleaning day, stuff like that kind of shirt, more than something that I would wear all the time, so I think that that just makes more sense. So we're keeping it, but it's not.
solid about this shoe situation here. I feel like I did a pretty damn good job. And now we're going to tackle this shelf situation over here. And the first thing that is gonna happen is this is going to get moved up here. With these, basically the way that it used to be is like I had my jeans and then the riser and then my shorts on top and then skirts up here. But I have so much more denim than I do skirts or shorts, like denim jeans. So I just think it makes more sense to switch those. Plus I very rarely reach for skirts. So again, just makes more sense to put them like up a little higher where I'm not grabbing them as often. So I've already sort of like folded and, and gotten things in order. So we're just gonna slot them in here. Skirts first. And then denim shorts, I'm hoping will fit, can fit like, yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. I'm gonna pull that forward a little. That way I can see like all of the shorts that I have here. My camera battery died because I've been doing this for so many freaking hours. Anyway, what I was saying is that I was hoping that I could fit like two piles of jeans next to each other here, but that is not looking doable. But I'm wondering if I could turn my jeans like on their side and slot them all in that way instead of stacking. Okay, I feel like there's some potential here actually. That's actually sort of nice. I can see everything really clearly. It's not gonna like topple over. And there's actually some like good room in here too if I wanted to add more, which I probably will. Now, should I switch up the order of these because it's no longer in a pile? I think definitely yes. I feel like that's nice. I feel like that's good. Now for organizing my hanging stuff, I for years have organized it from lightest color to darkest color. But I just feel like that's not really serving me anymore the way that I want it to. Like, I don't know, it's just so hard. Like, how do you judge like, like a light purple to a light green? Like, which is lighter? And shouldn't all the greens be together, all the purples be together? So I feel like color coding more in like, rainbow with white in the beginning and black in the back makes a little bit more sense to me. So I think that's what we're going to do now that we've sort of decided what we're keeping, what we're not we can go through and just rearrange the hangers a little bit. So let's just go ahead and do that. Last thing here is just to pack up all of this stuff here to bring to sell slash donate. Allow me to give you a tour of the newly organized closet. Da da da! -da. <laughs> oh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. First of all, I have to say, love this color coding so much better. Honestly, the shirts is the only place where it like truly came through in my vision. Mostly because like this is what I have the most colors of. But I think it looks so pretty. Like, ooh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. And I did keep it organized where it's sort of like shirts and tank tops here. Then it goes into body suits and then into t-shirts and then long sleeves. And then down here, same thing. We have our jackets and our pants. These shelves look so much better in my opinion. Oh my gosh, so we have skirts, denim shorts. We have our jeans and I also keep a couple little bags in here. So I just put those in there. It helps to tighten this up a little bit, so I just felt like it made sense. Then we have our sweaters really pared down and our sweatshirts really not, but what's a girl to do? I love my sweatshirts, I love my comfy clothes. And then moving in over here, again, I just think this looks so much better. We have our t-shirt dresses in the front here and then into our other dresses. The shoes are looking ugh, just incredibly better. I can't even tell you. We even have like space down here for extra stuff, which is, I mean, a dream because it means that we can shop for more shoes. It just looks so good. I am so happy. Huh, well, uh, three hours later and we are officially done with our closet clean out. Oh my gosh, that was such a batch to do, but I'm so happy that it's done. Always sucks doing it, but it feels amazing once it's finished. Can't believe we filled up four bags too. That is crazy. That's a lot of stuff. Let's see, I think if I were to grade myself on how well I did at getting rid of stuff that I don't wear, like not keeping things unnecessarily, I would give myself 
a B, maybe a B plus. Because I think I did a pretty good job, but there were definitely some things where I was like, I'm just gonna hold on to this anyway. <laughs> so I feel okay. Plus we kept like 90% of our maybe pile, so I definitely lost a couple points there. But all in all, feeling very, very good about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today though. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Happy Friday. I hope this inspired you to clean out your closet this weekend. Just take a couple hours and get it done. I promise you will not regret it. And that's everything I have to say, so I will see you on Monday. Love ya. Bye. Really hope you guys get that reference at the end there. <laughs>